So welcome everyone to the uh, Humanoid League virtual season Team to Real Heaven. Um, this is uh, the conclusion uh, of the virtual season that uh, was a great success and we are very happy to have you here. So the, uh, the workshop to the Team to, to Real Heaven is organized by Jasper, who is here. Uh, Mike that she will join uh, uh, tomorrow and on Saturday, and myself at Alessandra. So we had uh, quite a different uh, team to join the, uh, the virtual season, and we are very happy that we are uh, more or less located uh, all over the world, so which it was great. And uh, uh, the virtual season concluded with uh, um, the three top winners at the first place, uh, CIT Brain, which won with the 47 goals scored and only four goals received. Uh, second place uh, was a uh, Hamburg Bebot with a sub 51 goals scored and nine received. And uh, the third place was uh, 01 uh, RFS, RFSC uh, Berlin with 26 goals scored and eight received. So we have, uh, uh, we have decided to have um, a short uh, program for three different days uh, to allow people to attend in multiple time zones and get a bit of um, insight on everything. And uh, um, so today in particularly, uh, we have uh, Marco Simon from the 3D uh, simulation. We are very pleased to have him here and uh, uh, he will give a talk. Um, and then we will follow up with the, on a workshop learning from each other. And if we could find uh, some common ground and uh, uh, common goals with the 3D simulation to proceed for future uh, challenges and uh, scientific development. Uh, and uh, since this is an uh, uh, event for a uh, workshop for learning, but also to uh, share all the software uh, and uh, challenges, also the development through uh, the different um, during the all competition, we also have the presentation of the different teams. And today we have one of the medalists, uh, the second place, uh, Amburg Bebos. So uh, the full program is uh, online, so I will not go uh, too much through, uh, through it. Um, so let's, uh, I'll leave the floor to Oscar. And then we will continue. Uh, thank you for joining us, Oscar. Yeah, thank you, first of all, for organizing this workshop and giving me the opportunity to join, uh, at least for a few minutes, because I do have an overlapping schedule, unfortunately. But first of all, let me thank all teams and all organizers for this virtual humanoid league season. And I think it was really amazing to see what has been achieved. I think really great also very helpful it is that you can view the videos asynchronously this is very helpful to for people with busy schedules and the achievements are pretty amazing um i i can just say i, I mean if you remember back uh, more than almost one and a half years ago for robocup last year when it was discussed to undergo this heavy effort of introducing a virtual environment for human and robotic simulation and the intensive discussions and also the, the significant funding which was asked for RoboCup Federation and which was virtual of which was of course uh, also disputed. <laughs> I can really say of course I was one of the uh, people who strongly voted uh, uh, argued for going to the virtual season last year to this virtual environment very strongly. And also Daniel, Daniel Polani, who cannot join today. Also, so we both were really pushing towards this, all criticism and skepticism and so on. And we are, I can tell you, I'm not, I'm so happy that this has turned out so successfully. And I realized also how much work it has been for quite a number of you. And, and I can just say, I once again say thank you very much for 
making this big step possible, everyone involved. I think it's an amazing achievement we have have today and also the the games in the in the in the now in this virtual season, which only could take place during having this platform developed um, and the results here. And so I already suggested, so, so I, I think what it is nice, I think it would be good if we can also, I don't know, report on these achievements because outside the humanoid league, they are not so well visible. And it would be nice if you could have kind from time to time help to inform the RoboCup and the outside world, the broader RoboCup community, including Board of Trustees, of course, but all other RoboCuppers and other leagues and also the outside world about the achievements. And I believe what has been laid down here uh, or started gives a lot of further opportunities, further opportunities for new types of research, for new types involving more teams and finding synergies with real and simulated robots, humanoid robots, but also with other leagues. And therefore it's, it's great that Marco is here and you will have a discussion with the 3D Simulation League because on the trusty side, this was felt very important to have leagues discussing with each other how to develop kind of possible, I don't know, synergies from different angles and bring together um, where, where possible and, and, and adequate to have synergies. So I would, therefore, I also suggest uh, that you also in the future, talk about how, yeah, first to summarize what are the strengths, what has been achieved, but also what are further opportunities, as well as how, how to move to make this fruitful for further activities, and also what may be needed to achieve this in addition. Um, yeah, and yeah, that's all I, I wanted to say. Again, I hope possibly uh, I will meet, I will be able to participate in Bangkok and meet some of you in person. Uh, I think this is something we are missing. I think that the virtual uh, is a really great achievement, um, but also that you combine this with the workshops and these activities, this is really, really, really great. But I hope that from time to time, we will also be able to meet in person and talk in person about this and make progress on this. So having said this, once again, thank you for all these achievements. Thank you for planning this workshop, this follow-up workshop. And I'm really very much eager to learn more about what's coming next. And if you need support in bringing out the news or the achievements, just drop me a note how I can possibly help and support you. I, I, I already gave you the link to the AI Hub organization, which last year we had a nice interview with Maike. And also for this year, by the way, we also have to have two plans uh, to include AI Hub. Uh, we will send soon an email out. They will offer um, courses for people, for RoboCuppers who would like to help in reporting news from RoboCup this year and to teach them, to train them in a, in a short course, how to make the science communication. And the editor from AI Hub will help in writing the article assist in needed. Then we will, hopefully we can have some articles, some news uh, during this year's season, which come out on AI Hub and also on robocup.org and the social media channels. And if you consider people and ideas for this one, this would also be great. Uh, so we can promote the humanoid league further. Yeah, that's all. Uh, I already talked a lot. Thank you very much for your attention once again. And I'm also grateful that I can watch this workshop asynchronously. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind words and your suggestions. Um, yeah, we'll be definitely working on the communication aspect of uh, getting it out to more RoboCuppers and also the outside world. 